Hi all, uh, thank you for joining my channel today. It's time for another look at the Flat Earth. Uh, I'm going to avoid using maths today uh, and just do some qualitative analysis. Uh, over the past few years, Flat Earthers have been trying to launch balloons up into the sky to see if they can detect curvature. To get a really good image of the curvature, you need to go quite high. Now there's plenty of footage from near space or from outer space where you can see the curvature of Earth, uh, but flat earthers will invoke lens aberrations to explain the curvature in these images. In many of the images we do see lens aberrations as wide angle lenses are commonly used. This is because agencies like NASA and ESA prioritize field of view and they don't really care about proving curvature because well, they have better things to do with our tax money. Now, in this video, we will look at some truly amazing amateur footage from a balloon launched by Dwayne Kellum. I believe he is a flat earther, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, don't quote me on that. Uh, and a link uh, to this video is uh, in the description. So what we'll do is we will take a few screenshots and see if we can detect curvature of the horizon. We will then compare the curvature and see if we can attribute it to lens aberrations. Now firstly, we've got to have a quick look at the main two aberrations. So first we start with a barrel distortion where a straight line appears curved as the line moves away from the center. We see that uh, the lines will curve uh, away from the center such that a straight line above the center will be curved with the focal point below that line and a straight line below the center will appear curved with the focal point above the line. And the second is pincushion distortion where the opposite happens. So lines away from the center curve towards the center. Uh, this is such that their focal points uh, when the line is above the center, uh, the focal point is above that line and lines below the center curve such that their focal point is below. Now in this slide, I just have some diagrams to demonstrate this. Um, let's say there is a flat horizon and uh, this diagram shows how it will be affected by either barrel distortion or pincushion distortion, uh, depending on whether the horizon is above the center of the image or below the center of the image. We will now move on to some stills from Dwayne's video. Uh, I've drawn a green crosshair on the video to show where the center of the image is. So first we have an image with the horizon close to the center of the image, but it is slightly below the center. Now I've drawn a straight line from one point to the other on uh, the horizon and we can clearly see curvature. Now this curvature could conceivably be due to pincushion distortion or more likely due to a curved horizon. However, what this curvature can definitely not be attributed to is barrel distortion. Now here's another image where we can draw the same straight line and we can draw the same conclusion. Now in this image, the horizon is far away from the center and we would expect a lot of curvature if there were barrel or pincushion distortions. Uh, but we see roughly the same amount of curvature, but I want to stay away from a quantitative approach. So I will ignore the similarities in the amount of curvature and I will say that this curvature could then still be due to pincushion distortion or curvature in the Earth's surface, but definitely it cannot be attributed to barrel distortion. Now here we have another image with the horizon well above the center and we still see curvature. Now this time we could say that this curvature is uh, either due to actual curvature in the Earth's surface or due to barrel distortion, How not due to pincushion distortion like the previous stills. And again, in this image, we see curvature, which can be attributed to barrel distortion or actual curvature in the horizon, but not due to pincushion distortion. Now I could go on like this for a very long time as most frames in this gorgeous two and a half hour long video will show you the curvature of Earth. The main point is that we can clearly see curvature in this video. We can also conclude that the curvature cannot be attributed to either barrel or pincushion distortion because they're not consistent. This leaves only one conclusion. The actual line, the actual horizon in the image is curved. This is because the Earth is a sphere. Now, I don't try to convert flat earthers back to understanding that the Earth is a globe. 
I think that this is a fool's errand. However, many flat earthers will say that they will believe that the earth is a sphere once they see curvature. Well, here it is. <laughs>